Hello and welcome back. This time to the last video of databases. Okay? And this is just to show you something. Okay? What do I want to show you? I want to show you PHP My Admin. Okay? This is a web-based tool okay? which is usually written for MySQL, PHP My Admin. Okay? However, since uh, MariaDB is a branch of MySQL, it is also working here. Right? There are videos where we install this and so on and configure this. Right now, I assume we have already a configured thing. So, this is the login page of PHP MyAdmin. We have to enter username and we have to enter pass uh, password. This PHP MyAdmin we had used during installation in this video. Yeah? However, we can also use we can also use my username yeah? and my super secret password is working as well. Yeah? Here on the left hand side you have the databases. Yeah, if you want to make a new data database, press new. Yeah. If you want to use an old database, press the old database. Yeah. If you want to look inside what is inside student list, press students, press student list, and we get a list of all students. Yeah. If we want to look inside what's in the class list, press class list, and so on. Class assignment, press class assignment. That's easy. Yeah? And if you change something, press change. And if you want to see uh, the structure, press here, structure. Then we see, okay, this is a primary key. This is a unique thing. This here is a foreign key, foreign key, foreign key, and so on. And we can even change the table yeah, simply by pressing here change and well we want to change this student copy cost yeah. this should be now longer somebody we can even press SQL preview yeah then we get the SQL command which will be issued by this side so that's nice it is nice and down here we have a console we can simply drag it open and we can enter an sql sql command and with control enter we execute this and we get the response up here <laughs> Isn't it great? Huh? It is great. Yeah. We can even use here SQL and just click those things together. Yeah. We want to select. We want to select student forename. Yeah. And so on. Pack, pack, pack. Now I made it a little bit. You need to get used to this. Yeah. Yeah. Clear everything. Select. Hmm. You can even save, save common uh, uh, commands. You can enter new data. Yes, I want to. You can enter new data. Everything, everything is there. Yeah? Just use it. It's good for guys like me who are not that good in typing to use it like this. And if I really want to, to make a special SQL command, then I can use it down here in the console. PHP my admin. We should have known this from the beginning, right? Ah, now you know SQL much better than by just using PHP my admin. Okay? Much better. This maybe helps you later if you do need. If you do have the need to, to 
write some SQL statements, SQL requests, queries. This can happen yeah? if you if you're writing your own PHP script, which shall read out something, and you want to display it on a simple web page. Yeah? You cannot do this with PHP MyAdmin. Yeah? However, you can do this with your SQL knowledge you have gathered over the last few videos, over the last few trainings. Yeah, I think that's it for databases for, for at least from my side. Yeah? If you're interested in, dig in. Yeah? So long. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.